So this is my linen cupboard and it's an absolute mess. Everything's piled on top of each other and there are no shelves. So I'm going to build some more, but first I need to clear it all out. It doesn't take long, but there's a lot of stuff in there. I didn't realise just how much stuff I had. Anyway, that's the first part of the job and the easiest bit. Next, I measured everything up. I wanted to make sure that I knew it was the same on both sides, which of course it never is. I measured the front and the back. I also measured the height of the existing brackets and determined the height of the new brackets for the additional shelf. I started by gathering all the bits of wood that I've had laying around for ages and removed all the little bits and pieces from them things where they've been used before, little clips and all sorts really. And then I started to measure up and decide which bits were going to be long enough and get rid of the ones that weren't. Or at least I would if somebody would let me. She wanted a bit of love and fluff and who can blame her? And I can't say no, but I need to get back to work. So I started measuring all the pieces, just so I could make sure I had all the right ones. And had enough of them too, because can't guarantee you've got enough in your junk pile. Thankfully, I think I did. Some of the wood had been used previously for a headboard it was all held together by dowels but it just didn't want to come apart so I decided to get the crowbar and it actually worked there's a lot of pushing and pulling and stuff but it worked and it didn't damage the wood next I removed the old dowels as they were just going to end up being in my way. Then it was time to measure and mark up so that I could trim the pieces to the required length. Then it was time to start cutting all the pieces. This is the fun bit. And of course a short break for a cuppa. Next, I started to lay everything out to glue it together. I wanted to make sure everything was square to reduce any chance of things going wrong further down the road. I checked the square again and once I was happy everything was lined up properly. I could then nail it in place. This gave me a good opportunity to use my brand new nail gun. Unfortunately, 
because I'm new to this nail gun, I wasn't applying the correct amount of pressure, so I had to hammer the nails in the last millimetre or two. I repeated the steps on all of the other slats. As you can see, I grew in confidence with the nail gun, if not in ability. And that's the first shelf done. So time for a trial fit. I couldn't get the shelf to sit firmly on the bracket because of this wire that was sticking out. So I was going to need to notch it. Once that was done, it was time to fit it again. So this is a very tight spot, this cupboard. It was a little bit awkward trying to get the shelf in, but it does get in there eventually. I made two more shelves exactly the same way, notching out wherever needed to avoid pipes and cables. And that's it. Three brand new shelves in the linen cupboard that can be removed easily in order to get access to the boiler. Now the only thing left to do is to put everything back in there. And that's it, all nice and neat and tidy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.